Eurovision fans claim Stage Invader proves acts mime after crashing Sue Ree's performance during live final. Eagle-eyed fans have accused the Eurovision acts of miming and they claimed the protester who stormed the stage during Sue Ree's performance proved it on Saturday. Social media was awash with the accusations after the dramatic showdown saw Sue Ree pick up her performance 20 seconds following the stage invasion. Viewers at home claimed the moment the trespasser snatched the microphone from the UK's act proved she was miming. The stage invader is believed to be rapper and activist Dr. A. C., who shouted down the microphone. For the Nazis of the UK media, we demand freedom. Suri was left clapping along for around 20 seconds before she was given another microphone and courageously carried on with her performance. Hashtag Eurovision turns out she was miming it thanks for pointing that out random guy on stage hashtag UK. One fan wrote, leading the troops, sick. Another added, hashtag Eurovision brilliant miming from the Suri until the stage invader grabbed her microphone, sick. Disappointed that the stage invasion in hashtag Eurovision now shows that the performers are miming, sick. Was she miming? Hashtag GBR hashtag Eurovision, fans questioned. Is everyone miming tonight on hashtag Eurovision? Sick, Mail Online has approached Eurovision for further comment. The stage invasion caused quite a stir among fans and stars alike, including BBC One commander Graham Norton who was left stunned following the incident. He said, that is a terrific result for Israel. I'm afraid Suri, for all her braveness and professionalism came 24th. She really is a national heroine after tonight. It was extraordinary. I don't know how she coped in those horrible circumstances. A lot of people will be watching her performance and cheering her on because she did a terrific job for the UK. And it's shame that wasn't reflected. Despite being given the chance to perform a second time, Sue returned it down as she said she had no reason to take to the stage again. BBC Eurovision tweeted, Folks, this is the latest on the Suri situation. Suri was offered the option to perform again by the EBU. Suri and her team are extremely proud of her performance and have together decided that there is absolutely no reason to perform the song again. Israel pipped Bookie's favorite Cyprus to take this year's Eurovision crown during an action-packed night in Lisbon. Neda Barzilai, singing the popular song Toy which has already racked up more than 25 million views on YouTube, was second favorite prior to this evening's show, but beat Cyprus Eleni Ferreira in a closely fought contest. Eleni Ferreira's performance of Fuego went down well with the judges as she scored highly, but Barzilai managed to narrowly edge the public and jury vote which secured her the win on the night. Speaking after her win. Barzilai said, I am so happy. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting diversity. The next Eurovision is expected to be held in Israel following the country's fourth win in the competition's 63-year history.